This is the oak. The Lion and Healy Model 4. I've just reattached the neck. This here. Rosewood Pyramid Bridge. It's a full size bridge. It's a little larger than some that would have been sold with the guitar, but uh, they work real good. Um, I spent $2,000 on the Precision uh, Bridge Locating System um, from, uh, what's it called, Hunak or something. Just kidding. Oh dear. Um, this is how I do the precision locating. The main aspect of the precise measurements I take involve using the, the line on the number one instead of this floater here. It removes a lot of doubt. You just have to remember that he wanted to add. So I spent a lot of time trying to get that sucker just right at the edge. This is a nice fretboard. This is real rosewood. I don't know what that means, but that's the way it feels. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Hoping that probably right in the way there. Actually, at this says 13 and an eighth, but we know it's 12 and an eighth. Okay, so now you double that 12 and an eighth is 24 and a quarter. We're going to add just about an eighth of an inch to the length of the scale between the D and G. And now that would be 25 and a quarter, or 24 and a quarter plus an eighth, 24 and three eighths. I'm just a little sharp of that, a little five thousandths this way. Okay, now, <clears throat> that was a, a third of the precision locating kit. And you know, the next part of the precision locating kit was piece of string. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I think we can get this all on here or not. No, this way, go this way. Okay, so I put this here in, you know, less than an eighth. Put it where the hole is going to be and look at the margin. It's real nice all the way down. Now I take this side and do the same thing. And, and it's the same, exactly the same. So, I mean, it was worth the money. It's absolutely, oh, yeah, the last part was straight edge. And, yeah. Now what we're after here is when I did this neck, I rebuilt this entire area, which involves resetting the neck angle by default. We're looking to be right on top of this with this, I mean, precision measuring device. And we're right there. Oh, we're a little low because the frets aren't in. So what I'll do is uh, use frets are 40 thou high when they're leveled. Here's uh, two pieces of carbon fiber, each of these is 20, so we're right at about 40. Now when we put the uh, parts on there, we're exactly, exactamente on the money. Thank you very much. Uh, so now we're up to there. We'll turn this off and on. So 
I got this original dimension, but man, you can put these things on wrong this way, wrong that way. Uh, so the first thing I do is take the measurement to here and just set this in and maybe use this as a general sort of. Use the string to get this thing located right this way and then put these end stops in. Now I've got this located, I'll go back to this precision measuring device and measure across corners. Now I am using that little tab and I'll measure either to the front or back corner. This is 24 and 3 eighths on the money. I'll go over here and measure to the corner and it's 24 and 3 eighths on the money because I've already done this. So, one of the things I'll end up doing is taking this guitar, setting it up against the wall and looking at it just to make sure it doesn't look crooked. It's a real drag. Crooked. Um, anyway, I've defined the area exactly. We're going to remove the finish from the area to be glued and I'm going to double this tape around here because it makes cleanup real easy and it keeps this thing located. It really does. It keeps it located so it can't skate. So, um, it's possible to take the straight edge and this is for, this is the anal part of the for all those. Now the finish won't break or flake. I'm not pressing down very hard. Honest. This one's a little strange. Now, I don't think you really have to do that. Okay, this indispensable tool. It's dispensable. You can get them in the dispenser. <laughs> During this process, this is going to go on the belt sander turned off to make sure it's flat and not warped. And then it fits well here. And the last thing I'll do is zip, 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 put a slight bevel on all four of these edges to uh, get it to nest in this little pocket. This is the fun part here. Make sure you got a good corner on here. I'm trying to, this may be cedar. I, that would be unusual. I think my, uh, my friend said it looked like cedar.
pretty much gone. I'll do it. We'll be back. check with this precision measuring instruments and uh, violi violia we're still where we exactly where we were because we haven't changed anything okay we're gonna put some glue on and come back there are two substrates. So we're almost clean. I'm gonna do a little bit more and then we'll come back for go bars. They just push from the ceiling down onto whatever they're resting on. These have got padding on them.
piece here. Otherwise, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm.